Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Right today we're gonna to be looking at something that is for the golf geeks. It's for the ones that are actually serious about golf. People like me who wanna actually get the scratch and really wanna play well. So basically today, you might see me doing all this and everyone takes the out of me doing aim points. Fair play, that's what you want. I'm scoring well, I don't care. I'd wear a dress if it made me shoot low of scores. Drew's Golf, or Andrew, who's actually called, um, who works here, he's from Ireland, really nice guy. We're just gonna quickly look at my putting stroke, because I've realized that I've been doing a lot of stuff on aim point, um, but I haven't actually looked and calibrated my actual putting stroke. So we're gonna have a little look at it, and there's some golden nuggets that you will wanna watch this for, okay? It's not the most exciting video. I know, boring, putting might be boring, but putting is half of your score. Right? Not a lot of people do this, and you need to do this. So I know it's boring, but tell the missus to piss off, because Gaz is putting. I'm going to put how I normally do. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, do I it. don't do that on, but I'll, I normally put my t-shirt under. <laughs> Everyone who watches, <laughs> you'll now see where I do that. But yeah, I just I took it under just to keep that right arm. Yeah, 100%. You need connected. to do exactly what, what yeah. you would do in a And I'll just literally have, situation. I'll just kind of keep it a bit loose. Well, at least we'll hold one. Yeah. <laughs> That's another. Yeah, yeah. Thanks Pretty for much. watching. Pretty nah, much. It's not, <laughs> no. Nah. Because, like I said at the start, the reason the reason we're here is not, like I say, I've implemented like um, aim point and stuff like that, which I think is green reading. Yeah. But the last time I actually sat and got some good set up and this kind of advice, and maybe I am reading them right, and I'm pushing it a degree. And this is like, I know it sounds mad to people watching this, but like, this is the kind of stuff you need to dive into if you want to be scratch or whatever golfer you you have it like some people don't even have putting lessons yeah they don't absolutely. even have stuff yeah. like this it's so like most underestimated part of getting well, i've lessons, learned that i've learned know? that off, i think aim points helped me by about four shots around yeah easy, on average you know? easy yeah yeah easy. i've literally to like if i can throw this in the mix and make sure i'm hitting it right yeah of course it like, could even be like five or six the shots combination around. of the two could be could be really significant Capto works through like a, the analysis works through like a color coded system. Yeah, yeah. So red, yellow, and green. Self-explanatory as to what's what the good one is, but lots of green dots coming up on the screen at the minute. I mean, I've hold three foot in a row here. Doing very good. I've always said this: putting is one of, I would say, one of the strong. Well, it has been. Now yeah. it's probably not driving at the minute. Probably is, but putting's always been up there, isn't it? But, yeah. but then, then this week at the Cala, I think 10, 12 foot, yeah. even this range, I haven't really hold any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they just they have, whether that's me reading them right and then bottling the pace, but yeah. the stroke was actually really good. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But again, even if you're not, it's good to just every couple of three, four months, whatever, just check these things. Absolutely, yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? No, like it, it's, it's almost for the, for the normal golfer, it's going to make up almost 50% that are around the golf. Oh, yeah, putting, yeah. putting. So. You know, why do you not put any time into it? Why do you not get any lessons on it? <laughs> Seen that on some of your videos, and I was like, first question, ask him why he's left hand low. Yeah, that, I do find it a lot better though. <laughs> yeah, but when you set up left hand low, it's a little bit, it, it's, it's a little bit different. Like it's quite, they're quite level. It's yeah. not like it's. That's you know, so when I was like that, I I really did. Then I then I had a, I did have a little sort of look at it, and they were like, well. I feel like your chest is pointing to the camera a bit more. Then I start getting a bit more closed, and then I yeah. just didn't like it. Left hand low, it does, it does all that naturally, naturally for me. For you, yeah. And then I got, I got used to it. If I actually go back to right hand normal now, yeah. it feels it feels unusual. It feels yeah. like I'm, it's alien. Honestly, yeah. I, I, I don't even think I could do it. I mean, I put it all right like that, but yeah, it was. It, now I feel so comfortable doing it. It just feels, it feels normal. Yeah. Very, very good. Like obviously, like you say, your left hand's low, it feels like the shoulders square up, but they present in a very, very level position on the club. Right. So it wouldn't be like a traditional left hand low grip. Well, is that mean? like down here? Yeah, you know, where your left arm lengthens and now you use your left arm as a real structure part of your, your stroke. Right. You know, so that was gonna be the question in terms of why you left hand low, but you see now where they're actually it's actually just creating a more level position yeah. for you you know whether that be you've got a natural slight incline in your body to one side or the other yeah. that you just balance that out well, i do that in chipping and chipping yeah. 
I, I, I set up like to chip like this, like I'm like that. Mm. And I physically can't get it. I, can't I, get it that way, I yeah. can't get it. <laughs> like I was trying to all this and go down and I'm yeah. like, oh, there I am, right chip. But I, could, I can't, yeah, yeah. Not, I, I can't set up a chip and go. Let's try a left hand low here chipping then as well. So like obviously it presents a lot of different information here. Good sign on that last one, wet in the hole, no red, no red dots. So, you know, everything's within a very reasonable range of what you're looking to do. Face impact, you know, 0 0.4 degree of open. Yeah. You know, there was one or two in there that maybe is like 0 0.8. Yeah, yeah. On a put such as this length, significance very, very small. Okay. Only 24. You start to get further away, you know, obviously you'd be getting a degree open, but obviously at the same time, it is a 30 footer. So yeah. from a track point of view, you are slightly outside the line as you start your downswing, downswing or down part of the stroke, and then you continue out to the right. You can see how just a slight difference in terms of the arc, this arc is probably maybe slightly too big for yourself, that it's a 15 degree arc. Right. You're probably looking at slightly less, but you know, yeah, for, like for now, now yeah. for now trying to feel like it does arc that little bit more. Yeah, that should give us a different read on Straight it. away, you've gone from from a little, couple of degrees or a degree out to in yeah. to kind of zero point five. I just kind of bottled out. it. All these have got red and yeah. yellow in there. It well, wasn't very good put. There's only one gone red, and it's not one I would be too worried about. <laughs> so, you know, but. The, the main thing we looked at was the face was consistently open and your track was consistently out. slightly slightly out to in. Now your track is slightly in to out, okay. but well within a controllable range and your face is slightly closed. Now, you know, it's just about giving you a little bit better feel in terms of how you're gonna get that club face to square up. Try and Tra really try and trace it just for a couple to give yourself that feel. So it's interesting how significantly that little bit of arc changes those two numbers. You know, so like you said, like I did say, it probably yeah. is too much, too much for you yeah. that you just want to feel a slight change. So instead of using a template such as yeah. that, you would simply just use a stick. Like that there, I was concentrating on my hands. Yeah, which didn't work. Did not. Okay. <laughs> so obviously that, that tendency... I was that just you, trying to do something else yeah. rather than the club, but so yeah. So that tendency that you create obviously comes from your it hands. It is, yeah. Okay. So straight away you can see there your track moved three degrees <laughs> out to right, So, okay. you know, that's, that's your biggest miss in terms of those numbers. Yes, when you try to feel it more in your hands so are you saying pause just go yeah so literally hold that position for a split second <laughs> there you go there's your track at zero zero You can definitely feel a difference when I pause. Yeah, I and that, that's as I said, it's just purely a drill that you can do in practice to try and achieve that. And just do it over and over and over that again. A little better position it gives you a better feeling for that position because you're actually stopping there, and then, you know, coming from that position rather than you know when you're having continuous movement, we can see that there's that tiny little loop back out, which yep. is what you know something we don't want. But I'm not going to say you do it over and over again. It's more like couple of them just to get the feeling of that back into it and then step away i'd much prefer to see you do repetitions with with alignment stick, stick. yeah um yeah. you know really in a really fluent motion really close to it know. and just yeah so it's more realistic and it's just giving you a little guide in terms of where that putter head wants to move if that correct something else i feel easier doing that than I, than I do trying to concentrate on the arc yeah yeah i, I feel i feel it's easier if i just make yeah. sure i kind of the go arc, back and then I just keep it a bit up here yeah. and not go in here. Yeah, not allowing it that's to That's kind of then maybe it'll correct. What exactly. you're saying is if that corrects itself. That corrects itself. I think that's exactly. the thing. It's, just yeah. it's also finding something that works for you. For you, yeah. I can yeah. easily do that in the course. 
Yeah. I've got my line, yeah. I know what I'm doing, I know my distance, I've just got to make sure I go back and keep the, keep the put her that, that way, not yeah. down here. Not down there, yeah. And that's yeah. kind of done, that's closed the club face. Yeah, it that was. just neutralises it all a little bit for you and, you know, you, you you start the ball online a little bit better then, you know, and that's that's got to be the it's key. Got that, that's not no point for that last yeah. one as well, isn't it? Right. Well, thank you very much for that. Cheers, thank you. Thank Pleasure. you very much. Let's see if, uh, yeah, hold a few more puts. As always, guys, thanks for watching. See you soon.